ancestral chordates not only evolved a notochord and a postanal tail and a pharynx with slits that could be used in feeding, they then sent aortic arches to these pharyngeal slits and as water left the body, the blood could remove oxygen. And so thus, these slits became gills, the same type of gills that fish use. The earliest jawless fish developed a multi-chambered heart from the ancestral contractile blood vessels, uh, which pumped the blood. And modern jawless lampreys possess the four ancestral chambers, the thin-walled sinus venosus, which collects deoxygenated uh, blood from uh, the tissues of the body and pumps it into the single atrium, and then the single ventricle, and then the conus arteriosus, which proceeds from the heart. Blood in lampreys and in the ancestral condition in vertebrates was then sent from a ventral aorta, which proceeded from the heart cranially, carrying deoxygenated blood to the aortic arches where the gills were located. In these gills, afferent bronchial arteries branched off the ventral aorta and gave rise uh, to the capillaries where gas exchange occurred so that oxygen entered the blood and carbon dioxide exited. From the gill capillaries, oxygenated blood returned into efferent bronchial arteries, which then fused to form a dorsal aorta, which then proceeded caudally uh, to distribute oxygen throughout the body. Thus, along the midline of the back, in lampreys, one can observe the dorsal aorta carrying oxygenated blood, and then, uh, in addition, cardinal veins, which then uh, proceed cranially and return deoxygenated blood to the sinus venosus so that the cycle can begin again. 